will be the next World Heavyweight Champion. Shut it off. So let me see if I got this straight. You respect him and you respect him. Right? You guys respect each other? Newsflash, I don't respect either one of you. Because I could probably come in that ring right now and double leg you and make you tap out. And I've been beating the hell out of you for the past 10 years, so that wouldn't be anything new. I guess you didn't hear me at the beginning of the show. Do you know who I am? Allow me to introduce myself to you, Tito. I'm Bully Ray. I'm the president of the Aces and Eights. I'm the soon-to-be two-time world heavyweight champion, and I am the guy that will smack you in your stupid face if you get in my way. <laughs> with the both of you. That's how it's done right there. I would love to see Bully Ray go out here, shoot a little single leg on uh, Martino Ortiz, take him out, double leg Kurt Angle, dump him. <laughs> he says, it's power, baby. Bully Ray will be the world champion. Gonna take out Chris Saban and Hardcore Justice next week. Next Thursday, Spike TV is bringing a special presentation of Hardcore Justice to Thursday Night Impact Live in Norfolk. Next Friday, the Impact Wrestling World Tour will be in Roanoke, Virginia, and Saturday in Asheville, North Carolina. Tickets go on sale tomorrow for Impact Wrestling World Tour events in Bethlehem, PA, El Paso, Texas, and Tucson, Arizona. Also on sale tomorrow is Spike TV's Thursday Night Impact Live in Little Rock, Arkansas on September 26th. Be sure to check out ImpactWrestling.com for tickets and details. This is my ring. I've earned the right to be called the greatest wrestler alive. So I'm telling you, while you're here in TNA, I will respect your space. But you sure as hell better respect mine. Allow me to introduce myself to you, Tito. I'm Bully Ray. I'm the president of the Aces and Eights. I'm the soon-to-be two-time world heavyweight champion, and I am the guy that will smack you in your stupid face if you get in my way. <laughs> the following six-man tag match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the Bro-Man. Here they come. It's Robbie E. Jesse Goddard's romance on their way to the ring. So, JP, it'd be perfect if you were like their uh, ballet. Ballet? You know, if you were like, you know, you kind of draw them around and like uh, open the door for them. When they go to the gym, you wipe their brow with a towel, you know, they get a little sweat going. You, you're volunteering me for that job. Because you're not going to be announcing anymore, so I think that would be good. No oh, offense. And their tag team partner from Richmond, Virginia. So many people treat me how great I sing this girl's song. You know that, right? Yeah, do they really? Oh, people love it. They're clamoring for me to sing. Ah, maybe next time. They've been tweeting a lot of stuff about you lately. Oh, people hate me. People hate me. Thought I was fired. Thought I got dumped. But instead, Hogan sticking it to me. Locked me out of this building last week. What a battle we had last week on this program. ODB and Gail Kim locking horns now. It is a mixed Whoa. tag team matchup. About to go underway here on Impact Wrestling Live. Sorry about your damn luck. Your tag team partners, your world tag team champions, Gunner and the Cowboys. Well, 
said something about a drunk. Anyway, I digress. Go ahead, JB. You have something to say, I'm sure. Well, we got two that uh, enjoy the beverages. We got the cowboy James Storm, never uh, never too far from a cold one, and ODB, of course, with Gunner. Your tag team champions, Gunner and Storm, in a six-person mixed tag team match. You're right. Yeah, you know, listen, James Storm loves a cold one, and ODB, she don't care if it's warm, cold, you know, lukewarm, semi-cold, it don't matter. As long as it's got an alcohol content of about 100, she's good. 100 proof, they call it, right? That's what they call it, indeed. The proof, the proof. Yet to come on this broadcast, we are going to find out who Chris Saban has selected as his tag team partner from the main event mafia to take on the Aces and Eights in our main event. We're just seven days away from Hardcore Justice. Seven days from today, next week, right here on Impact Wrestling Live, your World Heavyweight Championship title match will take place. Chris Saban versus Bully Ray inside a steel cage. Right now, we got Storm here. Look it up. Robbie E of the Bromance. Tell you what, some very successful title defenses, TNA live events all over Whoa. the country for wow, just through it. Did you oh. see that? Yeah, he almost ate the second rope. He bounced him so far. Gotta watch that hair product in the hair of Robbie E. He'll stick to a rope. Head knocked off there. And that lethal right foot by the cowboy, James Storm, across the back of the head of Robbie E. And now Ooh. goes to town. Look at that head. It's like a catches me. Look at that. What's that going on? Get new get new that head of Robbie E. I see the bro man. That's the thing. Watch each other's back. Robbie E. Well, they do watch each other's back. And, you know, you talk about the cowboy, James Storm. Being a TNA original, we were I didn't talk him. about it. I don't like them, but go ahead, continue. TNA 10 reunion, the pay-per-view event. Ooh. Classic matches, the most personal rivalries and unforgettable moments as the past and the present collide. There's a pin. TNA Wrestling presents one night only TNA 10 reunion on pay-per-view. Contact your pay-per-view cable satellite provider now. A big Jesse right there with a nasty drop kick in. It's Jesse, he'll tell you, ooh, he's got a, uh, a mean streak in him, but James Storm showing his mean streak with that heavy duty DDT. Man, I don't know where he's at. Jesse's back on the Peck Deck machine. <laughs> Jesse Connors with, with a real mean streak. You know, he's been on TMZ this last week. He's been doing some movies, he's been doing all kinds of things, but one thing that he says he is now more focused than ever. Uh, becoming World Tag Team Champions. Along with his partner, Robbie E. Gonna have to get through Storm and Gunner to do that. Look at that intensity out of Jesse right here. Look at that intensity in this show, man. I love it. Bring the fight to that James Storm. Oh, you talk about intensity. You talk about viciousness. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jesse Goddard. Stop the mud hole. Let me get it. You stand up and just stop the guy so much. Love that. Hey, come on. Just your hands on He's got that wild look in his eye as well. Yeah, he's loaded with intensity. Hey, come on now. Let's go. Got a different mindset. Uh, you, know, you can tell. Obviously, Goddard and Robbie E. While you know they like to go to the gym together, they like to work out together. Yeah, they do it together. Sometimes they need a ride. Someone's got to make hit the hit the stir button on the blender for them for the way protein drinks and stuff. That's you, bro. I'm telling you. Backcracker by Storm. And Storm needs to make the tag. He's been getting the better part of that offense for the last several minutes here. Need to reach over and tag in Gunner or ODB. And yeah, don't tag an ODB. She thinks she's in Woodstock in 1972 or something. Look at her. He's freaky, man. Freaky! Oh, here comes Gunner. Wow, close line. Takes off Robbie E's head. Look at that. And again, takes down Robbie E into the corner now. That's well, Mr. Intensity right there. Oh, boy. Look at that high collar. Just driving him in with that backbreaker. This guy is a straight beast. Talking over it. Sound bites, my friend. Look at that shoulder block. All that massive pectoral meat that ODB has in her upper region driven right at that poor Mickey James. Oh, look at that. Gunner has him up in the gun rack, and Gunner stops that immediately with a boot to the midsection. And now oh, is... looking to capitalize. Has Gunner where he wants. Storm on the outside comes in. Oh! Take
JB, I mean, that was a... <laughs> I've seen some kicks in the face in my day. I've given them and received them. But that right there, by one half of the tag team champion, look at this shot right there. Bam! Right in the dressing face. Another angle. Oh, look at that hit right there. And then this finishing double-team move. Well done right there, I gotta say, by the champ. Well, we saw these two go at it last week. Oh, um, Gail Kim, my favorite. That's my favorite knockout, by the way. Everybody knows that. Get your hands off a stiffer. And just the viciousness. You saw lay those right arms and those punches right across the face of ODB. And we have not seen the last between Gail Kim and Oak. Oh, oh man, and Mickey James getting involved as well. And grabs her <laughs> knockouts championship and heads south. Oh, that knockouts champ. She's another hoop. <laughs> you just having a little fun out there. High five, man. No five, no five. No love right there between Gail and, uh, well, this hardcore country. <laughs> ODB, Gunner, and Storm victorious. But how about Gail Kim from the punches to ODB on Impact Wrestling Live? Frank, you have all week to think about your match coming up next with, with Chris. What, what are your final thoughts? My final thoughts, well, they center around two little words. Poor Frankie. That's what my friend Chris said last week. Remember that? Poor Frankie. Well, you know, I think poor Chris, over the last year and a half, you know, all this fun we've been having, I think he forgot who I am. You know, he forgot that I'm a five-time former X Division champion. He forgot that I'm a guy that's beaten him more than once in that very ring over the course of the last 11 years. Tonight, it's bad for bad influence, bro. It's awkward. You know what? Tonight's not about bad influence. Tonight is about me. Tonight is about me going out there for my family, winning this whole damn thing, winning that title in October. And you know what? Poor Chris and all the fans tonight are going to realize why they fell in love with me in the first place. Coming up next on Impact Wrestling Live, the members of Bad Influence, Christopher Daniels and Kazarian, face off one-on-one -on -one with Bound for Glory Series points on the line. Do you believe the nerve of this kid? Making us wait to find out who his partner is going to be. Us, the 23-time World Tag Team Champions, the greatest tag... 24. Don't mean to interrupt you, bro, but 24 23. times. 23. Bro, come on, get it right. Why are you selling us short? 24. There was the one time in... Forget the one time, 24. It doesn't matter. We won the tag team titles a lot. Exactly. What does matter is that I am going to beat the respect into Chris Sabin and give him a taste of what I'm going to do to him next week in the cage. Well, you do that, my brother, I'm going to send a message to the Mafia that somebody's going home forever. Testify. <laughs> And it's my line. The following contest scheduled for one fall is a Bound for Glory series match. Introducing first one half of the bad influence, Kazarian. You know, one of the great things about the Bound for Glory series is it brings out the 